dear students welcome to today's virtual class in continuation with the alignment movement we shall learn about the some other movements which were held in india the chipko andolan the bishnoi movement apiko movement the silent valley movement the western ghats movement navadanya movement and many others today we shall the chipko movement or the chipko andolan this chipko movement was a forest conservation movement in india this is one of the prominent movements in which trees are protected in a non violent method by hugging them it started in 1973 in uttarakhand then part of uttar pradesh at the foot of himalayas became a rallying point for many environmental movements all over the world this is a non violent feminist movement and an ecological movement by rural villagers particularly women aimed at protecting trees and forests the hindi word chipko meaning to hug or to cling to and this refers to embracing the trees to stop loggers and prevent felling of trees so that the local communities could have control over their natural resources then had started the commercial logging which led to lower agricultural yields erosion depleted water resources and increased flooding throughout much of the surrounding areas the government had allotted a large plot to a sports goods manufacturer and the villagers were denied access to a small number of trees build agricultural tools another reason was 200 people died due to monsoon floods which happened because trees were cut on a large scale their appeals were denied chandi prasad but a social activist led the villagers into the forest and embraced trees to prevent logging and after many days of these protests the government cancelled the company's logging permit with this success sundarlal mohana a local environmentalist began to share the chipko's tactics with people in other villages this led to the next protest in a village called reni where they had scheduled to cut 2000 trees then the students led a demonstration and the government summoned the men to a nearby village for compensation and to allow the loggers to proceed without confrontation by then the women of the village led by gaura devi refused to move out of the forest and hugged the trees they said cut the trees and us this forced the loggers to withdraw later the state government passed an order of 10 year ban on commercial logging this chipko movement of tree hugging utilized other gandhian techniques like non violent resistance the women went to the extent of taking janda in hilly areas for 75 kilometers from uttarkashi to kasoli to create awareness they used slogans like this forest is our mother's home with all our strength we will protect it the women also kept all night vigil guarding the trees sundarlal bhoguna famously fasted for 2 weeks in 1974 
in the Adwani forest, Chipko activist Doom Singh Negi fasted to protest auctioning of forests and local women tied sacred threads around the trees and read from the Bhagavad Gita. In 1980, an appeal was made to the Indian Prime Minister Indira Gandhi by Bahubana and the result was 15-year ban on commercial felling in Himalayas. There were others like Shaturi, Hindu Dikekar and others who supported this movement. You can see in this picture the Chitpo movement again, where people are seen hugging trees. Children are creating awareness among others about the forest. And there's a check, there's an Indian proverb only when the last tree has died and the last river been poisoned and the last fish been caught will we realize we cannot eat money. This also tells us that money is not everything. Trees are important. Apiko movement. Inspired by the movements in the north, that is Chipko movement, Apiko started in Malnad area of Karnataka. The meaning is the same, hugging of trees. The environmentalist Panduranga Hegre founded the Apiko Chalwali, meaning to hug. On September 8, 1983, a group of 70 villagers from Salkani village of Uttar Kannada stood hugging the trees of Kalsi forest to prevent them from being felled by the state authorities. He said, elimination of the forest cover renders soil unfit for tree growth. This forest cover had shrunk from 80% in 1950 to 25% in 30 years. The introduction of plywood factories, pulp and paper mills, and construction of hydroelectric dams were to play for the loss of forests. This developmental project displaced many people who depended on forests for a living and also sapped the natural resources. Here, we also, like Chitko, many women went and hugged the trees. Though they were being abused, they stood hugging the trees. This Mahila Mandir consisted of women from different castes and tribal groups. The women would daily keep aside a little grain which the environmental activists would collect and pass on to those who stood guard of the trees continuously in the forest. The people of Sirsi, Siddhapura of Uttar Kannada district united together to protest against the contractors who got permission from the state government to cut trees. They hugged the trees while being cut. The message was they are ready to sacrifice their lives for the sake of trees. Vandana Shiva, an environmental conservationist, an econo economic feminist, thought leader writes, we are either going to have a future where women lead the way to make peace with the earth, or we are not going to have a human future at all. Hegde said, women are impacted the greatest when the access to the forest is not provided. Deforestation and excessive state control brings about de decrease in the forest produce. The success of Apiko is evident from the fact that laws were made where only dry and dead trees may be cut. This movement later spread to Vainar, the hilly area of Kerala. These are the different pictures of Apiko movement of 1983. Panduranga Hegde, 
who said elimination of forest cover renders soil unfit for the tree growth the chipko movement or the chipko andolan this chipko movement was a forest conservation movement in india this is one of the prominent movements in which trees are protected in a non violent method by hugging them it started in 1973 in uttarakhand then part of uttar pradesh at the foot of himalayas became a rallying point for many environmental movements all over the world this is a non violent feminist movement and an ecological movement by rural villagers particularly women aimed at protecting trees and forests the hindi word chipko meaning to hug or to cling to and this refers to embracing the trees to stop loggers and prevent felling of trees so that the local communities could have control over their natural resources then had started the commercial logging which led to lower agricultural yields erosion depleted water resources and increased flooding throughout much of the surrounding areas the government had allotted a large plot to a sports goods manufacturer and the villagers were denied access to a small number of trees build agricultural tools another reason was 200 people died due to monsoon floods which happened because trees were cut on a large scale their appeals were denied chandi prasad but a social activist led the villagers into the forest and embraced trees to prevent logging and after many days of these protests the government cancelled the company's logging permit with this success sundarlal mohana a local environmentalist began to share the chipko's tactics with people in other villages this led to the next protest in a village called reni where they had scheduled to cut 2000 trees then the students led a demonstration and the government summoned the men to a nearby village for compensation and to allow the loggers to proceed without confrontation by then the women of the village led by gaura devi refused to move out of the forest and hugged the trees they said cut the trees and us this forced the loggers to withdraw later the state government passed an order of 10 year ban on commercial logging this chipko movement of tree hugging utilized other gandhian techniques like non violent resistance treatments meda patkar in this picture who was involved in the narmada bachao andolan on the 67th birthday of the prime minister narendra modi the sardar sarovar dam on the narmada river was inaugurated the western ghat movement the move started against the kudremukh iron ore project in 1970 In Kudremo, 15 lakh acres of land was acquired for mining without providing proper rehabilitation to 4,000 affected families. In fact, iron ore was being sent through pipes to Dakshina Kannada and Udupi. 
This affected the residents who had settled down on the river banks of Tunga and Batra. Alerted by this, environmentalists of Shimoga, Kalasha, and Shringeri started cycle charters with placard Save Tunga Mula and Ban Mining. This is the Kaduyam of the structure, which is a horse like picture, a mountain which reflects the picture which has a horse face. That is why it is known as the Kudremuk Iron Ore Project of 1970. This saved the Western Guards march they conducted. That is hundreds and thousands of participate, participants along the way. There was a Dundee march to save a major ecological hotspot in the world. To do next. Meda Patkar in this picture, who was involved in the Narmada Bachar. The achievements of Salu Marada Timaka. Salu Marada Timaka belonged to Hulikal village of Magadi Taluk near Ramnagar. Timaka and Bikalu Chikaya couple lived in Hulikal village and they were childless. To overcome this, they started planting banyan saplings on the roadside between Kudu and Hulikal. They reared and cared and guarded these trees with their meager earning and sheer love and affection. Timaka used to carry waters in the pot and pour to the plants which she had planted. Every day after she finished her cooking work in the house, she started to pour water to her garden of trees. She planted 248 plus trees and the government of Karnataka took the responsibility of taking care of those 248 trees as Timaka was getting older. Later on, she was honored with the Rajyotsava Award and the National Award. Salu Timaka single-handedly planted thousands of trees over a span of 65 years. She took care of them just like a mother takes care of her children. These trees are her children. Now, 106-year-old Timaka, who had planted trees and protects them as their mother, travel 8,000 kilometers per month to attend the environmental protection and awareness programs nationwide. It spread awareness about deforestation and promoted deforestation. Timaka faced a lot of social ridicule for an inability to bear children from her relatives. In this picture, you can see that Timaka has been receiving the national award from the president of India, Ramnath Kovind, and in fact, she blesses him on the same day. Salimarvati Makka, her seminar paper was presented in the United Nations on her contributions to the environment. To create awareness among people, the World Environment Day is celebrated on 5th June every year. In this chapter, you will be asked one mark or two mark or five marks and ten marks questions. Any single movement will be asked and you have to write it for a ten marks question. It may be a Dalit movement, environmental movement, any of these movements. So you can prepare easily with all this information and write in detail. Thank you students. Have a great day.